Hi everyone! So here's my full itinerary for Havasupai. Just wanted to give you a guide and some do's or don'ts on what to expect when you go. And you know, if you have any other questions, like please leave it down in the comments. But here was my itinerary that I think would be perfect for this trip. If you can get permits, definitely do. On the first day, we checked in at 8 a.m. sharp at the Grand Cavern's Lodge and then drove the extra hour to um, start the hike. After repacking our bags, we probably started the hike around 10 o'clock. It wasn't too hot for us though. Like our, I think because we hiked in April, it just wasn't too bad weather-wise, but it may get warmer in the summer. There are meals on this trail, so remember to step aside when you see them as they have right away. The hike itself is so gorgeous, so definitely take time to look around and like marvel at it. I had such a blast just hiking to the campsite. Our backpacks were about 25 or 30 pounds each, which I think was probably the right weight to carry. Just I would not carry anything more than 30 pounds. And here's Navajo Falls, the first falls you'll see as you hike to have a soup by. When you get to the campsite, you'll realize there's a lot of places where you can camp at, but some require you to cross bridges. There are four bathrooms at the campsite, so don't worry, there are bathrooms close to wherever you stay. The water at Fern Spring is pretty safe to drink, and this is where you fill up all your water. On your second day, you should definitely spend most of your time visiting all the waterfalls that you can. We first started a day at Havasu Falls. And then after that, we hiked to Mooney Falls and decided to hike down to the bottom of the falls. The hike definitely requires a lot of going down rabbit holes um, and climbing down uh, little ladders and everything, but I love hikes like this, so it was super fun for me. I wasn't too worried about this hike, but some people did bring love, so choice is up to you. Um, it definitely wasn't too slippery for me at all. Even the hike down from Mooney Falls was gorgeous and we just stopped to take lots of photos as we waited for our turn to hike down to the falls. Here's one of the ladders that we had to climb down on. Not too bad. I really enjoyed swimming in Mooney Falls the most. So definitely, definitely take a dip if you can because it's so, so cool to be there. So breathtaking. <laughs> the rest of the hike from Mooney to Beaver is absolutely gorgeous. You're following alongside the Blue River the whole time and is relatively flat, which is really great. There's definitely gonna be some river crossing, so um, don't be afraid of getting your feet wet. I wore sandals when hiking through the river and it was it was so fun. It's like literally my favorite hike ever. You also pass these gorgeous kind of walls. The view is just gets better and better along the way and I think we've also passed by a bighorn sheep too. Here's just one of the many incredible waterfalls that we just passed on our trail just to get to Beaver Falls. And we made it to the actual Beaver Falls. Look at that gorgeous waterfall, like, oh, so incredible. Definitely swim in this waterfall too. The water is just nice and warm and it's just so refreshing to be in. For our final full day, we decided to spend the whole day at Havasu by Falls or Havasu Falls just because we wanted to relax before our hike out. And it was such a great day. It was the hottest day for us so far on our trip, so it was just nice to kind of relax in the water and we just chilled the whole time. Also, definitely get fry bread. It's cash only, so definitely bring cash for you for the fry bread. It's so delicious. You'll probably get it every single day. Also, you probably don't want to bring that much fuel with you or fuel at all for your jet boiler because a lot of people left theirs behind. So 
the hike out wasn't too bad for us. We got up at 5 and then got out by like 9 a.m. So it, I would say if you leave around 5, you miss the heat of the day and it's not too bad of a hike. Obviously, everyone's different, but for us, we really enjoyed the hike out because it was so gorgeous and we were in the shade most of the time. Um, and we spent time, a little bit of time waiting for our friends who took the helicopter because we actually got out before they did. So just like eat your own, but the hike out was really fun for us and we really enjoyed it. And that was our Have a Sufi trip. It was such a fun experience. If you have any questions, please let me know. But I really had a blast being there. It's definitely one of the favorite experiences I've ever gone my whole entire life. And it's well worth it. Definitely go. And thanks so much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe. Give me any recommendations. I'm open to it all. Thank you guys so much.